all right cool so the first step is gonna be roto brushing the whole layer cool now obviously it's pre-recorded so i'm just doing this over so you're gonna roto brush your character out of the middle cool so for example this is poser cool done that nice simple very well doesn't matter for the settings but now what we're gonna do we're gonna do some content aware for content aware for basically it fills up the background and it gives you a nice um fill so basically copy my settings as it is now object uh 18 i think it says and generate full layer now you wait for it to generate and when it generates what will happen the whole thing will come through if that makes sense so yeah if we just wait for that to happen it should come through next i've got my rotor underneath then i've got my actual fill layer on top and on that fill layer obviously it's cool now we duplicate the rotor and we do this because we want the rotor to be above as well but now we go into the rotor settings and we invert the whole thing so we have to go in like i'm doing now you have to unfreeze then you invert the foreground at the top left as i'm doing now cool then you go into it and you freeze it again which just brings out the whole character by its own as we just masked out the background at first if that makes sense i have to wait for this to freeze um yeah i mean it's quite a simple tutorial if i'm being honest with you guys like it's nothing too extraordinary it's quite nice and simple <clears throat> cool we've got everything now what we're gonna do is animate the position and the scale for the teleport effect so i've got mine marked out because i'm following exactly how i've done it but you can just do it in however many increments i'd recommend 10 to 15 frames 12 is a good spot how i would do it personally but you just animate the different speeds whatever whatever like quite literally i don't need to narr narrate this but uh yeah i'm gonna narrate a few guys because obviously like sometimes it's a bit difficult but yeah when you so obviously when you're doing this you can scale it up scale it down position left right up down whatever whatever when you're doing it though it's crucial to make sure you don't have anything that's sticking out otherwise it will be very bad if that makes sense so you don't really want to have anything sticking out when you're doing it or your character is poking out whatever otherwise it won't be nice so this is me just adjusting the last part of it if that makes sense because obviously we gotta have everything nice it doesn't matter he can even be zoomed in as much as possible what i've done here i copied the first keyframes to go to the next part like so there we go cool now i'm gonna f9 all of this so easy ease you can have, you can right click or you can press f9 or fn and 9 on mac i believe but if you just copy my graphs as well that would come in healthy uh helpful obviously it's different for everyone's clips you can obviously adjust your graphs to your liking i've just done my nice simple sharp stuff like that as we can see it blends in nicely i'm going to duplicate this roto and now when i've duplicated the roto what i'm going to do i'm going to stretch it out this is just for the tutorial purposes just so i can show you guys how it would look when it blends into the other clip now i've duplicated it and what i've done you want to copy my exact echo settings over here that i've got copy them exactly cool now you also want to add gaussian blur on top of that and you want to do it to 23.5 cool you've got that basically what that does it changes like the background and it gives like a nice smooth type of thing i changed the opacity because what happens is with the echo if you're doing this from pre-made clips what's happening is this will pop up pop up like the whole character and it won't be in sync so here i also graph it but this is me now just seeing how it looks however i would recommend you guys copying what i'm doing as it is very beneficial cool hey so now if we play it back you can see how it looks it's, it's very nice i'm going through it slowly just so you can see what i'm doing in the timeline cool now i've just I'm, I'm adding my own shakes here you guys can get creative you can add your own shakes add someone else's shakes whatever shake you want to use feel free however i wanted to add my shakes because it's like why not in it like i like my shakes my shakes are nice um yeah this is me just applying them and yeah cool now what you want to do you want to change the echo because obviously there's not enough echo in there that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be changing the echo in a minute this is just me checking out the rotos to see everything's all right now we're going to be changing the echoes from 7 to 13 because obviously in this one 7 isn't quite sufficient so we've got to change it to 13. obviously you can change it to your liking however much however many you want 
obviously echo is quite an intensifying effect so i'm aware it's not very simple to use okay this is obviously me just adding my own little levels effect doesn't matter but this is going to be the final outcome you guys will get when it renders okay it's the final outcome and yeah hope you guys enjoyed